want to talk to you today about the importance of the grip because uh, you know that's that's our one connection to the golf club Two grips that I want to share with you today. One would be a short game grip, one would be a full swing grip. So as I lay the club down, you can see how the TaylorMade logo is right on top. If I were near the green, I'm going to take these marks where I, I marked my glove with these uh, with some black lines exactly where my rings would be. If I if I wore a ring on my middle finger, fourth finger, and pinky, and I want to make sure that those uh, rings go directly under the club. Then I'm going to squeeze it and then I'm going to put my thumb straight down the top logo. That's a very effective way to grip it for short game so that you can hit softer shots. As I transition to fuller swing, well I don't want the rings right underneath and I certainly um, don't want to grip the club up in the palm. So I want to just share, share with you and show you that if I just hold the club up, if I put the rings more on the side of the golf club, for any slicers out there, this is a big deal. Put the rings right on the side of the club, then squeeze it. You'll see how that puts the heel pad on top, and that allows me to then uh, get my thumb just to the side of the lettering. Why is that so important? Because your hand, especially your lead hand, is the connection to that club face. So if you're a slicer out there, Boy, I would definitely make sure that the rings uh, transition right to the side of the club. That rests, connect the palm, middle finger to the shaft, slide that up against the thumb, and then connect both. So that, that's like the instant cure for a slice. It's how you hold the golf club. So just remember, we've got a short game grip where the rings go underneath and I would you know I mark a lot of my students gloves so mark it right where the rings would go short game would be underneath the club and then full swing would be more on the side of the club simple way to, of doing that if I just rest the club near my lead leg and make sure you just have an awareness of the club face itself being square that should make it pretty simple for your hand to go on at the ring joints Big difference between the palm squeezing it and then the ring joints squeeze it. Pay attention to um, the location of that. And if you think of some everyday things that you might do, take a steak knife, take a hair brush, uh, or think of how you would play tug of war, well, you would want those joints directly on whatever you're playing that game with. So. Pay attention to the grip because that in and of itself could help uh, stop your ball from slicing or curving to the right. It'll also add a little bit of leverage through impact. I'm Marty Nowicki for Impact Snap. I hope this video helped you. Please leave your comments down below. That helps us to create more content for you. Please hit the subscribe button. Click the bell notification. That way you get notices each time we put out more content. For Impact Snap, I'm Marty Nowicki. Thank you for watching.